Hey guys, I hope you're having a great week. Sorry I didn't get a chance to do my Q&A video last week like I had planned. We actually moved over the weekend and we adopted a new dog. <laughs> so it was pretty hectic and I just didn't end up having time for everything. And so I'm doing this video today and I just grabbed a bunch of your questions from that Q&A post that I had made last week from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my app. All right, I'll start with a tour one here. This is from Ashley and she asks, are you doing another tour of the United States this fall? And if so, when will tour dates be available? The tour dates will be available hopefully next month we'll be announcing some things and that will be for this fall in the US. We're looking at September, October time frame. This is someone from my app and they're asking, is there another activity or hobby you'd like to pursue or improve at aside from music? Oh, lots of things, definitely. I think one of the main things that I would like to become better at is cooking. I actually really enjoy cooking, and I feel like I'm pretty good at baking, but cooking I definitely need to improve my skills at, so that's probably up there. <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon? Bulbasaur, definitely Bulbasaur. <laughs> Robbie asks, have you ever participated in an orchestra? Yeah, I actually used to play in lots of different orchestras when I was younger. They were all youth orchestras or through my school. So I played starting probably in elementary school all the way up to college um, with school. And then I also participated in a couple of different youth symphonies. I did some summer camps and I also did um, some different um, community orchestras as well. Elizabeth asks, will you ever write a song that also involves singing? Yeah, I've been actually thinking about that a little bit for my next album because I'm gonna start working on a new album of original music here pretty soon. And I was thinking that I might try to incorporate something with some singing vocals of some sort. I'm not sure if it gets more complicated, then I definitely don't want to do it because I don't feel like I have a great voice for singing. <laughs> and I know a lot of really talented people that I might want to ask to uh, be a part of that. So we'll, we'll see. Maybe if not this album, then I definitely want to try it sometime in the future, if not for a single or maybe a different album. Gordon asks, is there any game series you want to try but haven't had time to do so? Yeah, I would really love to try out the Uncharted series. I've heard awesome things about Uncharted and I know there's a new one coming out, so definitely would like to have some time to play some of those games because I've heard great things about them. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. <laughs> this is a good one. Do you ever find it hard to stay motivated all the time to practice? If so, are there any tricks you have to keep it up? <laughs> definitely, oh my gosh, when I was younger, I was so bad about it. Um, I could only play video games if I had already practiced my violin. That was kind of the deal that my mom had made with me when I was younger. That was my incentive. I think if you find a piece of music to incorporate in your daily practice routine, you, know, you, you need to be doing the scales, the etudes, all of those kinds of things to build your technique and everything. Those are important. But it always helps to have something to look forward to playing. So, you know, not something that's for technical skill building. Something that's just really fun and that you look forward to playing. And you can either start with that, maybe to just, you know, motivate yourself to open the case to begin with, or you can end your session on that. So you say to yourself, after I've practiced all the essentials, then I can play my fun piece. So I think that might be a good way to stay motivated. <laughs> Bethany asks, who is your favorite Disney character and song? Okay, my favorite Disney song is probably Colors of the Wind. I love that song. I just think it's so beautiful. And my favorite Disney character, probably, I mean, I love a lot of the characters from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's one of my, it's probably my favorite Disney film. I know it's a little obscure. It's a little bit more adult too, I feel like, because there's some things in there that are just, well, anyway. Um, but I really love Esmeralda. I think she's just like, she's a really cool, independent woman and she like stands up for injustice and you know, she doesn't care about how people look. She cares about inside, inner beauty, all of that. Like I really admire her. I like her, I like her character a lot. And um, just the people in that movie who are like really for justice and you know, standing up against evil. I like that, I like that whole theme. <laughs> Andrea asks, what is your favorite accent to hear or imitate? Definitely a British accent. Uh, my tour managers, both of them actually, from the US and Europe, had British accents and I had so much fun like teasing with them and imitating them. I don't think that they had as much fun as I did, but I really enjoy a good British accent. 
Thank you guys so much for all the questions. I'll try to go through and like respond to a couple of the ones that I um, didn't respond to in this video, but I'll do another one of these sometime soon and I appreciate you guys sending in your questions and I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and I'll see you next time.